Association NADA, Spanish language association NADA, or simply NADA, is the name of a gang that began in the Puerto Rico prison system and spread to the United States. Although Puerto Rico has hundreds of small street gangs claiming its poorer neighborhoods, NADA's is by far the largest and most dominant, controlling the illegal drug trade on the island. The gang claims about 15,000 members in Puerto Rico, 10,000 in the United States and nearly 10,000 in other parts of the world. The NADA Association was founded by Carlos Torreziriart, also known as La Sombra, the Shadow. It began in the late 1970s when several pro-independence political prisoners were incarcerated in the maximum security prison called Iso Blanco located in Rio Piedras, Puerto Rico. Two, they formed as a mutual protection group in the late 70s, ostensibly to improve living conditions and defend inmates from abuses committed by guards and other prisoners, as well as to fight the prison gang G-27, Group 27, or the insects, Insectos. The G-27s called the Netas Worms, Gusanos. In the early 1980s, the Netas became the most dominant gang in the Aso Blanco prison after fighting both opposing gangs and crooked correctional officers. The majority of the inmates were fascinated by Ayriort's way of thinking and did all they could do for the association. But the leader of the G-27s, along with the help of paid-off authorities, plotted Deiriort's murder hoping to destabilize the Netas. They were to ambush him when he left the watchful eyes of his followers on his routine walk to and from the prison chapel. On the afternoon of March 30, 1981, Deiriort, who was accompanied by an officer who was in on the plot, was attacked on his return from the chapel which was located just west of the recreational yard. He was stabbed in the chest, stomach and back and then shot in the abdomen by a .38 caliber pistol. He was pronounced dead some time after sunset. During the investigation of the murder of Iriart, the correctional authorities found that he was probably betrayed by his lieutenants. His lieutenants wanted to get into the business of drug trafficking in the prisons, but Iriart opposed this. After the burial of their leader, the Netas exploded into an all-out rampage and took over several wings of the prison compound. Rumor has it that the majority of the Netas were drug addicts and in the drug trafficking business, so almost every riot would end with an assault on the prison's pharmacy where they took all types of narcotic medications. They first showed their power and brutal force when they retaliated against the G-27's leader Minota in retaliation for the hit he helped plan against Hiriart. After a few days of digging and chiseling their ways through the prison walls with spoons and their bare hands, they broke through the wall of Minota's prison cell and stabbed him over 150 times and cut his body into 84 pieces. There were rumors that certain parts of his body were mailed to selected people. A severed finger to his mother, his ankle and foot were sent to the warden of the institution, and his eyes were sent to G-27 second-in-command. The rest of his body was never recovered. The news soared and the media depicted the story as a hostile takeover. Used to their advantage, they used the media coverage as a means to send out messages to other members in different prisons across the island. Their message was clear, they wanted justice and they meant business. They warned the administration that if their demands about improving the living conditions within the facilities weren't met, there would be bloodshed and an all-out war. By the middle of 1984, their numbers multiplied excessively. They took over seven major prison facilities across the island and ruled them with an iron fist. Today, they still control a good part of the prison system. They denounce and punish sexual offenders, pedophiles and abusers and exile them to solitary confinement where they do not allow them to interact with the rest of the prison population. It became such a force that the PRCD physically segregated Netas and their rivals in separate buildings or facilities within the prisons. Reportedly in the late 80s, the association was involved in the cult of the Holy Death and performed several ritualistic murders at the Aso Blanco State Prison. In 1988 they branched out and expanded into the east coast of the United States and the forefront of Canada. There they broke their roots to Puerto Rico and continued to branch out as far as South Florida. 
forming into separate factions or chapters, they were built into an almost mafia-like umbrella, where there was a president, vice president and lower hierarchy instated. In the late 1990s, there were confirmed reports that Joanna Pimentel, known as La Madrina, had been appointed counsel and leader of the New York City chapters. In 2001, Pimentel was convicted in a federal court in Brooklyn, New York, of ordering a gang-related killing in 1995 and was sentenced to life in prison. 3-4, she is currently being held at the Federal Correctional Institution, Danbury, a federal prison in Connecticut. 5 Their rivals vary throughout territories. Because of their structure they are usually in alliance with People Nation. Crips and Folks are usually on top of the list, as well as D.P. Dominican Power, DDP Dominicans Don't Play, MS-13, Los Solados, Grupo 31, and their lifelong sworn enemy G27, Grupo 27. History shows that in certain areas of NYC they were even at war with the Latin Kings where the rivalry spread as far as Ecuador and Spain. Recent reports say the Netas have ended their problems with the Latin Kings and Bloods becoming allies around the New York City area. Reports also show the same for Spain where the war between the Netas and Latin kings claim many lives in Madrid. One way to identify members of the Netas are by the beads they wear around their neck. Their rosary-styled necklace usually embodies a cross and are worn with the colors white, black, red. Another way is their clothing, they wear mainly white or the colors of the Puerto Rican flag, red, white and blue, where sometimes blue is replaced by black. A white bandana is also a good way to identify members. It's usually represented as their flag they may also be identified by using the letters NDC, Nata de Corazon, Nayada from the heart. The Nata have a hierarchy that includes a maximum leader and council which branch out to state officials and council and then chapter officials and council. They fall in a pyramid as president, vice president, counselor, moderator, secretary, vocal, Netas refer to each other as Hermanitos and Hermanitas, brothers and sisters. Robert Walker of the website GangsOrUs.com has said of the Netas, they use the facade of a cultural organization and see themselves as oppressed people who are unwilling to be governed by the United States. Nada identifies with the Los Maqueteros and their revolutionary philosophy in providing independence for the home island of Puerto Rico. Today, NADA associations can be found throughout the prison systems of Puerto Rico, the United States, and Ontario. In 2009 they were reported as having up to 6,000 members in the northeast coast of the U.S. alone and to almost 13,000 in South America and thousands more worldwide. The NADAs mainly operate out of the tri-state and upstate area although they have ties with Los Sanjuros Nuestra Familia which is a mob family that operates in Puerto Rico the leader of the mob family is Eldon. New York, they have founding chapters in Kings County, Queens County, Nassau County Suffolk County, Montgomery County, Oneida County, Otsego County and Monroe County. Also having strong legions throughout the New Jersey area including Hudson County, Passaic County and Essex County. They are known to have over more than 30 chapters in the Garden State alone. On June 3, 2003, seven leaders of the NADA Association were arrested in Long Island, New York for the stabbing and murder of two MS-13 members. On May 6, 2009, a NADA drug den was discovered and busted by the Drug Enforcement Administration, in the Queens Bridge Housing Projects, located in Long Island City, Queens. 156 kilograms of cocaine and 487 pounds of marijuana were found in the apartment complex located on 41st Street and Vernon Boulevard. 2009 Netas have been reported to have major conflict with former allies, the Bloods, and a more severe conflict with the MS-13. 2010 Recent reports say Netas have been seen operating and connecting with the Bloods and Latin Kings. 
Netas are still having conflict and dangerous altercations with MS-13 and DDP. In 2014 the Netas have reached a peace treaty with almost if not all who claimed enemy to them. In many parts of not just the United States but other countries the Netas are rebuilding their image by becoming more involved in communities and politics. The association NADA, Spanish language association NADA, or simply NADA, is the name of a gang that began in the Puerto Rico prison system and spread to the United States. Although Puerto Rico has hundreds of small street gangs claim 